Golf Central on YouTube, brought to you by Apex Irons from Callaway. Whit Watson alongside Jim Gallagher Jr. as the new PGA Tour season is upon us. The first event of the new season, the Fortinet Championship at Silverado in Napa Valley, California. Take a look at the scorecard of one Maverick McNeely, who shot 64 on day two. Only 22 putts required, nine birdies and three bogeys. Imagine what the day could have been for McNeely who sits at 12 under par after the first two rounds in California. Afterwards, he spoke with Kara K. Dixon. An 8 under 64 for Maverick McNeely today. Uh, quite the day on the golf course. Had a bunch of hole outs, uh, chip ins. Uh, what are your thoughts on the day? It was, uh, it was a roller coaster day. I mean, the front nine played just about flawless golf, hit it where I wanted to. And then I uh, got to the first hole and just caught, got a funny, funny line in the right rough and dumped it in the bunker, shanked the bunker shot, got up and down for bogey, and then bogey the next two. And I'm kind of going, oh, man, this is, uh, this is going the wrong way quick. And then mm -hmm. the fourth hole was kind of a pivotal hole for me. My caddy, you know, he walks the entire golf course every, every week before I even play it, and he gets all of his numbers. And uh, he got me a really good number to cover on that bunker on that wedge shot, hit a, a great wedge in there at eight feet and made birdie. And that kind of turn things around and finish strong. Mm -hmm. uh, you're a bit of a local guy. Uh, you've got connections mm -hmm. to the golf course, to, of course, to Stanford. Do you have uh, friends and family out here this week, maybe feeling a little bit of extra boost from that? I do, definitely. There's a lot of local support. I get a lot of go cards and the occasional go bears, but we'll <laughs> let that slide. But uh, my parents are out here this week. Uh, I saw my uncle who lives up uh, in Healdsburg, and uh, I've got a bunch of friends coming out tomorrow because you know they're all working. They have real jobs. Mm -hmm. Uh, you've now had a full season under your belt. We're mm -hmm. looking at this coming season and after the season opener. Yeah. What are your goals this season? The goal every year, I think, is to make East Lake. I think that's a fantastic benchmark for really the, the elite players in this game. Um, but I also want to get a win, and that's something I wake up every day and motivates me. I just want to keep getting better, and I want to mm -hmm. get improve my game and improve my skill set to the point where I will win. And uh, I just got to keep giving myself opportunities. Awesome. Well, best of luck rest of the week. You got it. Thank Thanks, you. Maverick. Yet another player who hasn't been out here this long and yet sounds like he's been out here for 10 mm -hmm. years. He was 58th in the FedEx Cup last season, made over $2 million. So he is knocking on the door in terms of being a top 30 type player, which he laid out just now, Jim, as one of his goals. Yeah, absolutely. Making East Lake. I think it's really important to set goals. There's some players, you know, Justin Thomas doesn't tell us until the season's over. I did. Uh, I just think it keeps you something to go after. I think it's real important to kind of keep you in check. But he said he wants to win. And I think every player, that's what you dream about. You want to come out there and win. But I look at today's round where he bogeyed one, two, and three, and he played the last five holes, five under par. So I thought that was pretty impressive to come back because be really Real easy to get rattled. But we talked about his college career, 11 wins, great three-time All-American, always had that uh, ability to win, beat those guys. And, and we've talked about it a zillion times. You've got to go out there and believe you can beat these guys. And remember, you did beat them when you were in college. On the topic of winning, Mito Pereira, a player from Chile who got a three-win promotion to the PGA Tour this season via the Corn Ferry Tour, played his college golf at Texas Tech. And a second round 67, he is very much in the mix at this first event of the 21-22 season. And he spoke with Kira after his round. Here with Mito Pereira after a five under 67. Mito, great round of golf today. Uh, what was it that helped you pull this off? Uh, I think both days, just solid golf overall. Uh, been making all those seven, seven footers, I mean, so that helps. Um, not many mistakes, just good off the tee, just solid ball striking overall. Mm -hmm. uh, in terms of making the transition now to the PGA Tour that comes with a lot of logistics and changes, yeah. uh, can you walk us through a little bit about what the process has been like over the past few weeks to prepare for this moment? Well, I got a, an agent right now, so he's been helping me with everything. <laughs> um, but there's a lot more things done in the Corn Ferry. Mm -hmm. um, I've been just like doing everything, me and my agent, like logistic wise, and yeah. he'll, he's taking care of everything basically. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm not that involved right now, so yeah. it's good to just play golf. What about on the home front? I heard you bought a, a house in Florida. Yeah, we got all that out. Uh, we're closing next week, so I'll probably get that next week. 
I don't have anything here in the States, so I have to buy everything from zero. Mm -hmm. It's pretty exciting. Good. Yeah. Uh, from an emotional standpoint, you've probably been dreaming about this for, yeah. for a really long time. What is it like to have the dream come true and does it does it meet what the dream was? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I mean, I think everybody wants to play here. I mean, f since I was a kid, probably four years old, five years old, that I wanted to play here. Mm -hmm. And I'm here right now, I'm playing pretty well, so it's, it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's, it's I like, it's not like real, you know, I'm, I'm here and, but you always get here and you want more and I want to win and, you know, it's, it's life, everybody wants more, Yeah. <laughs> but course. I'm pretty happy here. Awesome, well, we're happy to have you okay, and best of luck rest of the week. Thank you, Russ. Thank you, me too. There is a lot to unpack there. Hiring an agent, yeah. buying a new house. I don't have any stuff in the States. It's all back home in Chile. And this is what it means when you make the transition from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour. It's a whole new world out there. It is a whole new world. I, I didn't have that problem. I was just trying to survive from day one to day two. But interesting talking to his coach at Texas Tech, Greg Sands. He said he's not afraid of the moment. He's not scared. His strings are his hands. He's not afraid to go low. And as you know, when you went on the Corn Ferry Tour, you have to go low. He's played the par fives, eight under par this week that's a key to this golf course and he said you know one of his strengths are in his hands well he just mentioned he was making the seven to eight foot putts and that's really key around here but you know he's not intimidated right now and I think that's the thing and, and I think when you look at a guy that has won you go back to those feelings he had when he won I think that's uh, I think he's happy to be here he learned a lot about playing high level golf in college and he's transitioning that well nicely here our theme Tour. here obviously Jim guys who are young who are not afraid of the moment Will Zalatoris right. certainly fits that category did not have full membership on the PGA Tour last season and yet played well enough to earn Rookie of the Year honors. And he is now a full-time member of the PGA Tour. No more worrying about whether or not he'll get starts. 67 in round number two, and he spoke about his round afterwards. You were born in San Francisco, so the people out here are claiming you as one of their own, so you have to feel a good vibe in the gallery. Yeah, it's great. You know, my childhood coach, Greg Copeland, is out following me today, um, seeing a lot of old friends and family coming out. Uh, it's been a lot of fun, so I was just joking with Wolfie that, you know, when I'm in Greensboro, I'm the hometown boy. When I'm in Dallas, I'm the hometown boy. When I'm over here, I'm the hometown boy, so it's been a lot of fun. And lastly, you're knocking on the door for a potential win. You have, you have mm -hmm. to play well for two more days, mm -hmm. but you got to feel like you're very, very close. Yeah, I am. You know, I think really this course is very tight, so I've been trying to shape, honestly, the driver a little too much, and I think I really kind of picked up on that, or kind of middle of the round today. Um, so that's going to be the big thing is, you know, as, as, like I said, as long as you're hitting fairways out here, you're going to have a lot of birdie looks. Born in San Francisco, played his college golf at Wake Forest, hence the Greensboro reference, and lives in Dallas. So indeed claimed by a number of fan bases. And now doesn't have to worry, as I mentioned, about his status on the PGA Tour. That is secured. He is a full-fledged member, and he can move forward. Yeah, you try to free yourself up any way you can. Now he can. He can go out there. He knows he can make the schedule. Last year he was getting in some tournaments, and he played very well. Played mm -hmm. great on that big stage. The big thing is great ball striker. He only hit fair, five fairways today, and he said he tried to work on that shaping with the driver. But I think the biggest thing this week, he's putting well. He's gained uh, almost three strokes uh, you know, on the field. So that's a big plus for him considering he lost strokes gained uh, last season. But he plays with a lot of confidence, and, and I wouldn't be surprised to see him up at the top of the leaderboard as we go to the Sunday. Will Zalatoris, one of several players, young players trying to make their way into the winner's circle on the PGA Tour for the first time, and he is very much in the conversation as they head for the weekend at the Fortinet Championship. It is the opening day, if you will, the opening week of the new PGA Tour season, Silverado Resort in Napa, California.